imagine you. Imagine. <laughs> is it hard work doing what you guys do and why? If y'all don't know what I do, I grind till I die. Just kidding. It's so hard, not mine. All right, y'all. So it is very much hard doing what I do because it's take one, take two, take three, take five, take a hundred, a <laughs> hundred. So it's like I like I be trying to breathe. Like, can I can I breathe? I will under like sometimes. I mean, a lot of y'all might have managers and stuff, but the worst thing is to have a manager that's your parent. Boy, I right, swear. Like I can never breathe. I can never have a re just relax. Let's just let's just all calm down <laughs> and act like this is normal. See, my manager is my mom. She's a momager. So it's and then she's a perfectionist. So it's like uh very it's very pushy to me. <laughs> I, I will say I am very grateful because me just know that I need her to be pushy to me. I am grateful for it. it, it it brought me this far and it's gonna bring me way farther so stay tuned I, I'm that's true that's true is it hard out here for a pimp uh -huh. oh, when you're trying to get the money for the rim all right no. is it is it <laughs> is it hard doing what i do definitely i would say yes and no the reason why i would say yes is because of the fact that a lot of people think that like oh just because it's like oh look she's just making a tiktok doing a little dance or she's just um posting just fun her just living fun stuff on youtube that it's just like you know all we have to do is just post and go like it's entertaining for a reason it's because we've made it entertaining we have to literally put in work to make it to where that you guys you know are wanting to watch it like it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of hours it takes a lot of time you have to have different skills you have to be an editor you got to be a videographer you got to be a photographer you got to be a, a entrepreneur you got to be a network marketer you got to be a whole bunch of stuff in one so like you have to make your own connections everything like being an entrepreneur yes. You have a manager. You better get on it. I mean, even so, you still have to do your own network marketing and stuff. You still got to network yeah. yourself. Oh, you still no, gotta... Yeah, I understand. But it's easier when you get your own manager. It's easy okay, when you but... get your own videographer. It's easy when you uh, yeah, get I mean, your own I'm, editor. Yeah, I'm still about to get a videographer, editor, and all that stuff too. But I'm just saying like... Yeah, I understand. Yeah, like, I understand, it's, but... you still got to... You still have to have all that stuff incorporated rather yeah, than just like... Uh, just rather than just having a nine to five job where you you just get up go you do a certain amount of hours based off the work that you do and then you have somebody give you a paycheck like no you have to literally make your own you have to make your own income you got to make sure that all of that stuff is in order you got to make sure that you have the whole the thing to be able to have a manager the thing to be i mean the the resource to be able to have a manager the resources to be able to have a videographer so, like it's, it just takes a lot but also it's not hard because it's something that you actually want to do. So it's like sacrifices like, you know, would you rather just work this job for this amount of money or would you rather just do what you want to do and just, you know, have these certain things that you just have to do that comes with the industry. And so that's what I chose and that's what I, you know, prefer to do. So yes, it's hard and no, it's not hard. So that's my answer. Would you pass gas in public? I've done it uh, plenty of times. <laughs> It's depending, like, if I'm in a meeting, no, I would not. I, I, I know how to hold things. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I wouldn't pass gas. But, yes, I would pass gas. But yes. It's just, it's just you got to have a technique. You just got to know how to do it. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to know how. It's yeah. like, you got to, first oh, of all. Oh, <laughs> do not. You better not. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't have to fight right now. I'm just showing y'all. No, I'm saying you better not you know? tell us. You better not get into detail on how to you do it. You gotta have a certain way to do it, so. <laughs> Would you date a guy that has no goals? That's an easy answer. But it's super fly. But it's super fly. Would I date a guy that has no goals, but it's super fly? Basically a bimbo. What is a bimbo? He's just super cute and he just don't have nothing going for himself. He's just so handsome. He just oh, like so like he's like the finest boy in the world. But yeah, yeah, yes. I just went. <laughs> no, most definitely not. You don't, that's, honey. No, mm -hmm. that's just. I'm not even finna elaborate. No. What about you? I'm gonna just say it like this. I just would definitely not date nobody yeah. that does not have goals. Like, that's just oh that. yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm not been dating no ugly dude. That's just not what happened. It's just I did. I did me a little little baby. I date me a Kodak. Oh no, no. 
you could you, you can't move. say that in your thing. That's weird. I date me a Kodak. Stop it. Kodak got ghosts. <laughs> I would Jay-Z. I don't care. That's Beyonce. I'm not Beyonce. I'm baby, saucy. Uh, baby, and, I'm not Fisa. And, and like Do you I hear said, my name? And like I said, <laughs> I'm top tier, you're gonna have to be top tier. That's yeah, that, but Jay Z's the toppest tier. But Kodak is the toppest tier of his region. Jay Z's top, top tier. The toppest tier. I, I didn't say Jay Z was not the top tier. I said that's Beyonce's choice. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But yeah, he don't have to be easy on the eyes, but he don't have to be the easiest on the eyes. But yeah, he is easy on the eyes, though. Okay. He is. At some point, you know, what is the hardest part in being in a relationship with you? Okay. Uh, me, like 100%, I hate arguing. Like, I literally hate arguing. But you can get, if it comes, you can get to argue out of me. And she, Not gonna like, lie. she and I needs always the last need word. The last word. I'm going to always need the last word. I don't care. Yeah. So you can call me petty. But I'm, I'm the most... I'm not gonna say the most perfect, but I'm perfect. I'm the perfect person for anybody. <laughs> Honestly. The hardest part is about dating me. Me, I'm not gonna say I'm hard on myself, but I don't really cut myself no slack. So if you date me, like you can't be bull crapping on like what you want to do in life. Oh my it's god! Like, yes, like chat. if you just half doing the half assing, like you you're not gonna make it with me, like for real, like because I'm gonna be like 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 dog, like you see, I'm out here like really trying to like you know I'm really busting myself like trying to really make something yes. like if you just half half doing things. Mediocrity is not gonna fly. It's just not gonna work with me. It's not, it's gonna, not gonna work with me. Oh. Another thing is taking taking like stuff too seriously, like always seeming like you mad about stuff. Honestly, like, like just chill. I'm, I'm a goofy person. Like I like just to have fun. Chill. I like to. It, I could I could be sitting down in my room all day and I would have the most fun with myself, just laughing at my own jokes and all types of stuff. Like I'm I'm a up spirited person, so you you can't just be all super. Oh, we just gotta we just gotta do this. This is yeah, life. Like no, that's too much. Or or another thing is. If you sleep too much, oh, why are you sleeping? Or sleep late. Like, if you sleep too much, why are you sleep so much? Get up. Like, that yeah. you always trying to sit in the house and sleep. Like, get get <laughs> up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with somebody who's trying to get this smacked. I'm gonna or, go with somebody who's trying to go have fun. Right. Go discover, try new things. You know, while you in the bed sleep. Like what? Yeah. Another person. When you when y'all wake up too late, why do you wake up at one p.m.? No, baby, yeah. I wake up at seven. So I'm. I understand if you're a late sleeper. The the most you can sleep ten o'clock. Yeah. If you pass that's ten o'clock, that's doing too much. And you gotta go. You gotta go. Why are you still sleep at twelve, one o'clock? Mm -hmm. Talking about good morning. The thing is, I like the hardest thing about dating me is like I always. It's a good thing and a bad thing, but I always want the best for anybody around me. So like, you gotta want the best for yourself too. Like that's 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 a major one. Like. People don't understand. People don't really understand that. If you're a kindred to me, I'm gonna want the best for you. So there's no settling with anything less than the best for you or anybody around me. Yeah. Do you drink or smoke? And would you date anyone that does it? So no, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I never tried smoking. I have six. I just told my friend last time, I have tasted my mom, one of my mom's drinks, but I never got drunk because what to get drunk, you have to drink it. I tasted it when it put it a little bit on my lip, yeah. on my tongue. Yeah. Why would I even want to get a go? Yeah. Why would I want to drink it if it's nasty? Yes. Like, like I was telling my friend, he said, for, for you to fall in love with drinking and be a drinker, you will have to get it in your system and fall in love with the being feeling. drunk, the feeling. Mm -hmm. But I never got that, so how would I know yeah. if I want to be drunk or not? Exactly. That's like drinking uh, vinegar with mud. You, you put it on your tongue, you're not going to drink it. So how would you know how it feels? I'm not I'm not going to do it. Yeah, so I never drunk or smoke. And the last one, would I get with somebody that drinks or smoke? Yes, I would get with somebody that drinks and smoke. No, I would not get with a drunk. And no, I would not get with somebody who smokes all the 24-7. Like, I understand, yeah, you can smoke. But that's all you do? That's all you do? Like, come on. Like, you don't got no nothing. Like, you burnt out? If you burnt out, yeah. no. 
Sorry. You're just done. Bye. So me, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I used to smoke every single day. I was. I used to be a stoner, y'all. Like every day, like from the time I was 19 all the way up until like mm, 22. Uh, all the way, yeah, like 22. 22. Yeah, from 19 all the way up until I was 22. I used to smoke like almost every day, like all day, like. Y'all, I used to be in, I used to be in Planet Mars. I just went in that. I'm not gonna do that. I don't, sm I don't drink, and I, I tried it one time, uh, like, well, actually, I tried it twice just to see. Like one time, I tried it. Um, it was beer. I was like, no. The another time, I tried. Oh, um, honey, yeah. What are you doing with beer? It, I just like, like, put a little sip on my tongue. I didn't. I was like, what is? This? Why are you drinking this? But the first time I ever tried something to drink was like Ciroc mixed in like a smoothie, and I like took a sip of it. I was like, this is literally like rubbing alcohol. Like, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people doing this. I just couldn't do it. And then, but I, I will say that like if I did drink, I would probably drink brown liquor over white liquor, but I probably, I'm never probably gonna drink. Like, and if, it's probably never gonna happen. And if I drink, i probably drink red wine. Go on. Yeah, wine, wine now tasty, wine, wine, I see tasty. myself in my in my future probably probably drinking wine, wine every tasty. now and then. Yeah, probably. Like doing wine tasting and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I see I see myself probably um, drinking wine, but other than that, like nothing like, else. Mom, you, you, did, you, did you book our wine tasting? All right. <laughs> and, and would I date somebody that drinks or smoke? Yes. I would, but it of course it's like moderation. Like you can't just be out here just going to the club, just drinking, 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 come back. Oh my god, I was messed up every like weekend. Like you just drinking, 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 drinking. Nah, like you can take a few sips. Like go ahead, you can have your little cellar, you can have your little do your little thing with your little drinks every now and then. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna mind that. You could look you could look smoke you some a little bit if you want to. But like over excessive like indulgence, like it's unnecessary. Yeah. And that's like a, a whole nother form of discipline. So yeah, weird. Yeah. Do you guys have fights often? When was your first fight? Verbally? Yes. Sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna say seven days out the week. I say we get an argument three days out the week. Yeah, that's stuff. But it's not even, it's never like, no, like, <laughs> like, it's always yeah. just like, like, cause she just got a mouth on her and she don't know how to be quiet. And the thing is, I'm going to like, make sure I shut something, shut something down. Like if it's, if it seemed like it's in the uproar. So those, no, it's yes, not, right. let's, oh, let me, so she want to put me out there with her. She's, she's just a, yes, yeah, she's a happy person, but she's a grumpy body. You know, you have to, it's like walking on eggshells around her to keep her happy. Like I have to walk no. on eggshells to keep you happy. No, it's not like literally. Walking on, no, it's not like walking on eggshells to. Literally. It's not like I'm a grumpy person. It's just the fact I'm, that no, you're grumpy. Not, Little, it's like certain things. It's just like you know. No. Like it's like you should know. Like like I'm saying, if whoever end up getting her, whoever land her, honey, you gonna have to put it. You gonna have to be a soldier because some. I just be not. I just be not caring. Like I just be like, no, I'm just done with you. But we always talk 15 minutes later. Yeah, like we just had an argument before we got to film this. <laughs>
my definition of success is to be free and 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 when i say to be free you have to be happy and by free i mean free to do as you please and free to help the world yes. as well to help anybody without any thinking like can i do this should i do this you know cause should i have no mm -hmm. to literally and and I, and I mean let me say i hate when somebody says they're helping somebody and do the bare minimum mm -hmm. if you're gonna do the bare minimum and you're and you see someone in need you, and you, do, you shouldn't have even did anything because that help right there was garbage yep that's what i i think su success is being free free to do your own thing and to help the world yep same here all right, y'all. So that was all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it for y'all. Do you have fun? I have fun. I think it was fun. I think it was cool. I, I like doing stuff like this. So y'all go ahead and just comment some words. Come on, come on in here. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on, um, Miles Morales. This Miles Morales. And me. Yeah. 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 And Peter Parker. And Peter Parker, y'all. Y'all go ahead and comment down below some questions that you guys think that we should um some more questions you know for us to answer um i like doing stuff like this so y'all if y'all want some more stuff like this go ahead and like the video share subscribe don't forget to share this to your friends your neighbors your boyfriend your girlfriend your wife your husband your neighbor across the street anybody that you care about anybody that you love and y'all go ahead and hit her up at saucy go follow me on instagram all socials at saucy s dot a u c c i e per 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 <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said go ahead and subscribe and press that bell notification button so you guys can know whenever i post another beautiful wonderful dope ass video and like i said make sure that y'all go ahead and subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe because why there's always room in space i'll see you guys in my next video peace, peace.